all right so now i'm going to show you how to use a vsdc video editor um so this is the editor that we use to edit um the footage that we get from church so what normally happens is we record using our camera at church and then um afterwards we get the raw footage and then we make some edits then we that's the footage now we used to upload to youtube to facebook and other various platforms so uh, like i mentioned in the introduction of this series um we can't just upload the video the way it is you know it's just, just raw footage the same way uh if you take a picture on your phone you want to make some edits maybe you want to add some filters you want to change the saturation you want to clip out one or two things you know so it's the same thing with raw video we can't just upload the raw video just the way it is not just for the look but even the size itself so normally when we record with the co with our camera it's usually like the 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 the, um, the size is normally over 20 gb so you find my 30 gb 25 gb 22 gb 28 gb you know so um it's always important for us to edit also to save data also to save space so what we use for editing for now is a software called vsdc video editor so we'll just type that into the browser okay it's already even popping up free vsdc free video editor so um okay again ignore this one this is humora um okay we'll come here vsdc free video editor you click there and of course it shows you if there's the latest version it shows you the functionality and the features and all those things so what you do is you go and download and you go on video editor then you download if you have a 64-bit version you download if you have a 32-bit version uh, of your pc you download so for me i have a 64-bit version which is already installed right here at the bottom but if it's your first time you just click there then you download then you install on your pc as you can see it's very small it's just 124 megabytes in fact back then it used to be my 92 megabytes 82 92 just like very 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 lightweight but very high capability very 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 deep good functionality so um yeah this is 124 mb you hit download uh since i already have it i'm not going to open it obviously so i'll just go directly here um let me just again i opened something already so i'll just uh close this so when you open the video editor this is how it should look before you even start working on any video this is how it should look this should be the home page and of course this these are the recent projects these are things i've been working on uh, but if you want to start from scratch to say okay i want to edit a video you go here at the beginning it's written blank project right here blank project so you click there you give it a name for instance if you say maybe cpc edit then you hit enter so this is now your editor your editing window even on top here is showing editor so this is your main editor so since here we don't have any information we don't have any video no pictures no nothing what you can do is just look for um any video here okay even the same one so there's this video what you can do is you just drag it let's assume this was what you recorded at church so you just drag it down here where is this up then you just paste it but now you have it in your editor so for instance um let's say you want to maybe cut this into some maybe five minutes or so so you click one functionality this thing has is let's say you click here then you go here on top on editor since there are different versions let's choose the different uh groupings when it comes to functionality there's quick style here there's editing and there's tools so one function uh we have here is cropping so you can either click directly on the screen or you click here at the bottom where the video is and then you go on this razor blade 
So what this does here, it's even written split into two parts, and the shortcut is Control K. So if this this arrow here, this 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 just shows where where you are, like on the timeline. So for instance, I'm at six minutes. Um, point zero. I don't know if it's milliseconds, seconds, um, zero point four seven seconds. But if I say okay, I, this is where I want the video to cut. I can simply go here on this Carissa blade. Bam, I cut it. And now I have two videos. So this is one way, this is one function that VSTC video editor has. If maybe I say I want to increase the brightness, I can click on this part. Um, I go here on the right side where it's written basic effects. Okay, just a sec. Uh, basic effects. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, okay, so basic effects, right? So I can click on the video. If I want to increase the brightness, I go as written brightness. Then I just increase it like that. If I want to reduce brightness, I can reduce it. If it's contrast, I can add. This one adds a little bit more color. So just like that. If I want maybe to look more red, I can add red. If I want it to maybe to be saturated a lot more, I can use this. If I want a video to be sharpened, I can use that. If I want it to be blurred, you see. So these are just some of the effects that VSDC has. And then also there's what we call the properties window. So these are the properties that you can um, uh, alter. So for instance, you want to increase the volume. Maybe you feel like the volume is too low, like here. So I can click on the video. Then I go here where it's written uh, audio DB. This is it should be decibels. So I can use the arrow. I increase the decibels. I push that for five. I play it again to be super loud. I can reduce the decibels. Maybe I'll put it at sixty two. You see, you can hardly hear anything because I reduce. So these are just some of the features. I can increase speed. Right now it's on 100. I can increase speed to, let's see, 133. So when I play it now, you see that it's, it's moving faster than usual. So these are some of the features. You can, uh, you can play around with the audio. You can play around with video. You can add logos. You can do color uh, grading, color correction. You know, of course, I can't go into detail. There's just so much. There's so much you can do with this software. There's so much you can do with this software. And when you are done, when you are done, you now go on top here. You go on export project. And then you choose, okay, do you want it to be saved as AVI, MPG, whichever extension you want. So normally the standard we use at CPC is MKV. So you go here on MKV. Here you say change name. This is where you can change the name. If you still want it to be CBC, maybe you want it to be CPC edit with three S's. And then you choose, okay, I want this to be saved in video. You hit save. Then down here, then you choose the quality now. Do you want normal quality, high quality, ultra high quality? So of course, these differ in terms of their quality. If you put it at ultra high, you find maybe the video might be like uh, maybe uh, 900 MB. If you put that high quality, maybe it can be 650 MB. Low quality, it can be 400 MB. So you do what you can manage. But ultra high quality, that's the best quality. But for us, what we normally do, we like to put it on normal quality. If it's a short video, that's when we put it on ultra quality. Because at least the size will still be manageable. So if it's normal quality, you click normal quality. And then you go on export project. So of course, the reason why this thing is coming up, well, for me to upgrade... Is because I haven't paid for premium features. So that's up to the user. If they want to pay, they can pay. But for me, I'm not choosing the premium uh, version of VSDC. So when I'm done with this, I can just hit continue. Bah! And now it will start converting, 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 converting. And when it's done now, when it's done, it's now going to be saved in uh, videos. If you can see already, it has started been edited here so yeah that's that's basically of course i this is just best this is just a quick summary there's so much you can do let me just cancel this uh conversion there's so much you can do you can literally add 
a scene. So I can say this will be scene 1, then scene 2, then scene 3. So what happens here? You can add another video, in scene 2 you add another video. Then when you play them, they will play from scene 0 to scene 1 to scene 2. So they're just going to follow one after the other, one after the other. Instead of doing everything on one scene, you find that it's going to get crowded. So yeah, yeah, of course, if you want to learn more, there are a lot of tools here. There are a lot of things I can teach here. There are a lot, a whole lot of things I can teach. Changing background and whatnot, there's a lot. So if you want to learn more, uh, there are tutorials on YouTube. There are many, many tutorials on VSDC Video Editor. You may not even want to use this exact editor. But I think basically this is where we do what we do. This is where we make edits, we add logos, we can add a picture. It's not just videos. You can add a song here. Any audio, you can put it here and it will play simultaneously with the video. So this is why we have this tray here. So you can put a song underneath here. You can put a picture underneath here. You can do so many things here. And yeah, that's that's VSTC video editor. And the goodness is that this kind of uh, editing is quite similar to many other video editors. So whatever you're learning here, most likely it will be the same with another editor. 